Hi, my name is Joshua Hoskins, and I'm a solution architect at Aperio, Skyping today from our London office. At Aperio, we focus on enabling organizations to be successful with cloud platforms like Salesforce.com. I've also been named a Salesforce.com MVP for my contributions to the user community via the social channels, as well as the user group meetings, in addition to the program I started called MVP Office Hours. Enough about me, I'm also joined here by Matt at Spanning. And Matt, would you mind introducing yourself to the folks and explaining what you do at Spanning? Sure, thanks Josh. And I'm Matt Hanlon, Director of Products at Spanning Cloud Apps. Uh, here at Spanning we provide backup and director store capabilities for Salesforce. Uh, in my role as Director of Products, I focus on the overall vision and business strategy for our suite of solutions. So that's cool. So a little bit more about Spanning and specifically how you're different from the other SaaS vendors out there that focus on data recovery and uh, backup. Spanning is a trusted provider of backup and director store capabilities for SaaS applications. Uh, our vision is to make sure that uh, our customers can responsibly move to the cloud and ensure that their data is always protected. Uh, we're based in Austin, Texas, uh, founded in 2010. And uh, we've grown to have thousands of customers around the world and across different verticals. And so how we're different is that, you know, as a, from a product strategy standpoint, we try to make everything easy for our customers. Uh, so in specifically for Salesforce uh, backup product, uh, we deliver the only in-app product for backup and recovery. And our goal there was to give the users of the, of the product uh, easy ways to access information and uh, perform backups and restores. So for administrators, uh, they can install the application and will automatically back up all the information in Salesforce every day. They can basically just set it and forget it, and it's always there running in the background, so they don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, we give them a great interface for understanding what's going on. Uh, we also practically notify them uh, of their backup status, and if there's any problems, we, use it, we do that through Chatterpost. Uh, we have a Salesforce One mobile application that they can use on the go to see what's going on in their environment. Uh, and then for end users, we try to make it as easy as possible for them by giving them the ability to automatically restore data if they've lost it. So if they've made a mistake as they're editing an account record or an opportunity, they can very easily click one button and kind of see what the data was in the past and then kind of choose at the field level what they want to put back. And that's, that's huge for them because that gives them the confidence to work uh, throughout the day at their normal job and not worry quite as much as if they make a mistake and might impact the rest of the business. Thanks, Matt. That's a lot of great information about Spanning. But what I'm really interested, and I'm sure everyone else is, is let's see how it works. So here's Spanning Backup for Salesforce. It's located inside of Salesforce.com. Uh, here, the administrator can see the status of the most recent backup. And the backups include data, custom data, metadata, files and attachments, all of the information that you need. They can navigate to any other point in time as well, drill down into here, see what was in that, uh, and gather data whenever they need. We keep them uh, well informed about what's going on correctly providing them information around backups and restores or whatever is going on. So they could just make sure that, you know, if they've set it and forget it, and make sure that that uh, data is backed up, they can see it as well. We also give them visibility in Salesforce One Mobile. So Chatter works over there. You'll see that information as well as there's a miniature version of the product itself. So they get more details anytime they want. And for end users, we give them the ability to directly restore data if they made any mistakes. So if they're working on an account record and they make some mistakes and it's saved, or if they see some data that's incorrect, they can now just click restore. They see the differences between the current version of that uh, information in Salesforce and any previous version in the past. They select the fields they want to restore, click Confirm and Restore. It takes about uh, two or three seconds, uh, and that restore is happening as that end user, and they're ready to go, back to work. That's awesome. So thanks, Matt. Thanks for your time today, and thank you for sharing all the neat stuff that you're doing at Spanning. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Josh.